All right, what's going on guys? Today we are back and we're gonna learn to pan some gold. So I'm just gonna run through what you will need and some basic things we should do before we get started. So yeah, let's go. So um, first things first, you're gonna need a pan. You don't need two, but I'm gonna pan into this pan, repan out of it, so you'll see soon, just to make things easier. And if you're actually going to be going to a creek and trying to find gold from creeks and stuff, then you might want to classify like this. So then you can get your bucket and then just sit this on top of your bucket and then put like shovel loads of dirt in here, sift it out and then get all the fine dirt with the gold maybe in it through that. And then that would be easier, but today we're not going to need that. Today, I've got hay dirt, which has a gram of gold guaranteed pre-seeded. The reason I'm using this is just so we can see how the process goes. So, yeah, you're gonna need your pans, and then if you haven't already, get something hard, like really hard and um, abrasive, like maybe steel wool, and then get in there and just scratch the heck out of your pans. Because what that does is it makes little cuts in the bottom of the pan and the sides, and then the gold will sit in that instead of flowing around everywhere. So it just makes catching and finding the gold a lot easier. So make sure you use all your steel wool and get everything sorted. And then, once you've done that, the next thing you'll want to do is find a creek or find something to start panning into, which you want to put water in. And when you put the water in, you want to put a little bit of dishwashing liquid in there. Because what that does is it breaks the surface tension of the water. And when that happens, the smaller fine gold won't float or stick to the surface. It will just usually sink. So yeah, before we get started, steel wool or something very abrasive sand your pants a little bit, get a few scratches in it, and then some dishwashing liquid, not much at all. And then things you might need, um, a pipette, a uh, sucker bottle, I forgot what they're called. Um, yeah, whatever it's called. And then, um, yeah, you can suck up your gold with that. And then the finer gold with this, some tweezers if you might need them. And then a little magnet for the black sand. This one's really bad, you might want a better one, but anything will really do, just pick up the black sand and then a vial for the precious gold that you might find. All right, I'm gonna fill this up with water and then I'm gonna put a little bit of this in there and stir it up so it's not, not too soapy at all, just a very little bit, just so it's just a little bit soapy. All right, I'm gonna get that filled up and I'll be back. All right, here we are. We have our bowl. We have, well, this is what we're panning into our accessories and where we're putting our dirt. So I'm just gonna sit that there for a second. Actually, let me put some dishwashing liquid in, just a really tiny amount, that'll be enough. That's good. Now we're gonna get our dirt. We're gonna put our dirt into the small bowl. I can see a piece of gold already. Now, if it's your first time, I'd probably recommend doing the dirt in two goes, splitting that in half. But here we go. So we're gonna add a little bit of water to our bowl. Shake it around. We're gonna make all the gold sink to the bottom because it's heavy. So the gold will just sink to the bottom by doing this. Giving a little bit of shake. Not too hard. And then we're gonna let go of some of what we just got. We're just slowly dragging it back and forth over the gills.
And we have a piece of gold right there. Wow. It's quite a nice piece. Put that aside. Jeez. Making a mess. <clears throat> so we're going to shake it again. And over the gills, whatever you call them. Shake it against them. And then all the gold will get trapped in them and the dirt will float on top. And then we slowly let a little bit of dirt out. It's not too hard, just it will stay in the pan if you're gentle enough and try and do it into a, a bucket or another pan or something so you have another chance to recover the gold if you do lose it. Wash it all back in. And we're just going to rinse and repeat this process until we're left with not much. I'll speed that up for you guys, but just make sure you're just going slow. You keep aggravating it, sorry, to make sure the gold sinks to the bottom. That wasn't the word I was looking for, but whatever. And then slowly let dirt out. Now, you probably can't really notice it too well, but there's a lot of black in here, which means we've got black sand, which is the magnetic stuff we want to get out. And that shows a good sign of gold. If you're looking in the right places. Got some planes rolling around. And when you get to these last bits, make sure you just do it slowly. Pretty cool looking rock, it's green. A few green rocks in here. Look at all that gold. Wow. There's heaps. Some big nuggets. Or pickers. Don't know if you guys can see all that. What there's heaps in there. So yeah, once you get to this stage, it's probably easier just to grab the rocks and like throw them out, but yeah, probably gonna have to just do a little bit of fine work. Clean the bowl out, make sure we got everything. It 
Sorry. All right, so I'm gonna drain this out and then I'm gonna probably go through with some tweezers and pick out all those rocks. And that's why classification is good. If you use a smaller classifier, you can get rid of a lot of that stuff before we even start. There's gold hidden all throughout here. There's heaps right there. Honestly, I might even pick out some of the gold since it's such big pieces as well. Is that one piece? No. I was going to say, geez. All right, well, yep. There's some over there as well. Get back to you guys in a second. So for you guys that are following along, just make sure Get some tweezers and pull out all the big rocks and make sure they're not specimens and have gold in them and make sure you look around and get all the nice gold out and spend a bit of time. And then once all the fine stuff is left, um, I'll come back and show you. So just get rid of all the rocks and the big gold, put the big gold in your vial. All right, be back soon guys. All right, and we're back. So, I picked out all the gold that I could see anyway, and um, it's all in there. Don't know if you can really see that, but yeah. And then, um, so it, what I'm gonna do now is just check if there's any more gold. And if there is not finer gold, I'll still tell you guys what to do, but kind of sucks that I don't have a demonstration, but I'm happy with the big bits of gold. So I'm gonna fill this back up Give it another shake, put it all in a corner. And once it's all in a corner, you just roll it back slowly with the water. Oh, let some more water out. Oh, that lawnmower. Oh, you heard me. <laughs> so we're just gonna shake it slightly and just bring everything back. Slowly. Try and get some light for you guys. See the sun right there. So if you had finer gold, you would see it all along the edge. And what you would do is you would use that sucker bottle, which is on the floor down there for rubbish because it fell off or a pipette and you'll get that and just suck it up, drop it into your bottle. And then once you're done, clear out all the water out of the bottle by sucking it back up and missing the gold. Wow, those were some big bits of gold. That's definitely seeded, like put in there. I don't think that was found at all. See how I've got this really tiny piece right here? You might not be able to see it. So what you will do is you'll get some water there and just suck it up. And then you would go to your vial with gold and even though there's gold in there, just drop it in. All the dirty water. I'll get this piece as well. And I'll suck some dirt up so I'll show you the demonstration. Drop that all into your vial. And that, oh, there's another piece right here. I didn't pick it up before. I got it. Okay. So there's nothing in there anymore and if there was finer gold just take your time with the pipette suck it all out get your bottle full of water and gold it's not as hard as it looks and now you're left with this so what you do just tap it so all the gold gets into the corner and then try and roll it grab your pipette again 
and then just go into the corner of the bottle and suck the water from the corner, trying to miss any gold. And then just put it back in wherever. And then you can always just quickly check if anything came out. Just get as much water out as you can. And there you have it, your gold. And then what you can do with this is just shove the lid on wherever I put it. You can leave it in the sun for the lid like half off or something or leave it to dry out for a bit. And then once it's dried out and it's nice and dry, you just drop it on a piece of paper or some weights and get rid of all the crap. It's really easy to clean up. But I will show you guys that process now. I will just quickly go through this. And to do that, all I will do is just tip this water out into a bucket Oh, I'll show you guys, one second. All right, bucket down there. So, get your pannings. And we can just drain it into there. And try and go along the gills so it catches anything. Okay, now it's pretty annoying to work with in this current state, so you could always fill this up with water and just pan it back into the bucket, or you could try and get it into here, whatever you want to do, just, yeah. For something like this, I might even let it dry out a little bit, just tip out some more of the water. And I think I'm just gonna let that sit there and dry out. And then once that's dried out a bit more, I'll retail it and do all that again. And then that's just making sure there's nothing left. I haven't missed anything. Definitely recommend doing that. But yeah, so that's basically how to pan gold. And now that we've panned it, I'll show you guys how to clean it up. Everything's all cleaned up. Um, got the dirt over here drying. Once that's dry, I'll repan it, put my table and stuff away. But yeah, the gold inside drying, so I'll go show you guys how to clean it up now. All right, what's going on? Here I am at my desk with the gold that's been sitting in drying. I'll just use the top of my computer vent to let the heat get to it. And then I'm gonna dump it all on this paper here. Just bang. Let's do something in there. And here we have our gold. See, mine's got no dirt on it really at all. There wasn't much fine dirt to care about. But if you do have some, just sort it out here. Just separate it and yeah. Or if you have your magnet, that can deal with a lot of it as well. So yeah, let's see how much we got. It's meant to be a gram. And we got Yep, a gram, 1.015. So there we go. Thank you all for watching and I appreciate if you made it this far. And if you have any questions or comments about anything, drop it down below. See you guys next time.